ExcelGuard is a leading supplier of fire products to retailers, wholesalers and distributors. Our range of domestic smoke alarms is sourced from quality manufacturers and is fully compliant with applicable Australian standards. ExcelGuard products are competitively priced with value for money and a brand you can trust. There are two main types of smoke alarms available for the home ionisation and photoelectric. They both work in different ways. Ionisation smoke alarms are best for detecting fast flaming fires. They contain a small amount of radioactive material that creates an electrical current which travels through ionised air. When smoke enters the detection chamber, it interrupts the current and causes the alarm to sound. Photoelectric smoke alarms are best for detecting slow, smouldering fires. They work using a light source and photocell. When smoke enters the detection chamber, it interferes with the light beam, which sets off the alarm. Photoelectric smoke alarms provide good all-round detection and alarm, and are best suited for bedrooms, living areas and near kitchens. They are shown to be better at detecting slow, smouldering fires than ionisation alarms and cause fewer nuisance alarms if located near kitchens. Ignition sources and the materials in your home mean a slow, smouldering fire is most likely to occur when you are asleep. This is when fire safety risk is at its peak, as sensors are dulled and response times are slower. Your ExcelGuard smoke alarm comes with detailed instructions on the best place to install your alarm, so it complies with Australian standard AS3786 for smoke alarms. As a good starting point to determine how many smoke alarms you need and the best locations, the Building Code of Australia advises that for new, single-storey homes, smoke alarms must be installed between the bedrooms and the rest of the house or in a hallway where the bedrooms are situated. In some states, like New South Wales, state legislation makes it mandatory to install smoke alarms in existing homes. They advise similar locations to the Building Code of Australia. For extra fire protection in your home, the Australasian Fire and Emergency Service Authorities Council and Fire Protection Association Australia recommend that smoke alarms are installed inside the bedrooms where occupants usually sleep with the door closed and in the path you would travel between the bedrooms and the exit. If your bedrooms are not clustered together in one area of the home, then as a minimum, you should have a smoke alarm outside each bedroom area as indicated on the diagram. If you have bedrooms at both ends of your home, the Australasian Fire and Emergency Service Authorities Council and Fire Protection Association Australia recommend that, where possible, you should interconnect the smoke alarms in these areas or install alarms inside the bedrooms where occupants usually sleep with the door closed. Of course, not every home is built on one level. So where your home has more than one floor, for minimum protection, you must have a smoke alarm on each level of the home, regardless of whether there are bedrooms on that level. Where there are no bedrooms, the smoke alarms should be located near the stairway, as you can see on the diagram. Ideally, your smoke alarm should be placed in the centre of the ceiling for exposure to the best airflow in the room. This diagram demonstrates the recommended locations and areas to avoid, such as the dead airspace in a corner. It must be at least 300 millimetres from the corner. Where it's not practical to place the smoke alarm on the ceiling, it may be located on a wall, between 300 and 500 millimetres from the ceiling. Not every ceiling is flat and care must be taken when locating smoke alarms in rooms with exposed beams or sloped ceilings. Dead airspace is where trapped hot air will prevent smoke from reaching an alarm. Smoke alarms must be located between 500 and 1500 millimetres from the high point of a peaked ceiling and should not be placed between exposed ceiling joists. 
Now that you understand where your photoelectric smoke alarm needs to be located in your home, it only takes a few minutes to install it. Inside your smoke alarm pack, you'll find two screws, two washers, mounting plugs, a mounting bracket, the smoke alarm and a battery. In order to fix the smoke alarm firmly in place, you'll need a screwdriver, drill, pencil and a ladder. Firstly place the mounting bracket on the ceiling. Mark with your pencil where the screws will need to go. Firstly, place the mounting bracket on the ceiling. Mark with your pencil where the screws will need to go. Use a 5mm drill bit to drill the holes. Insert the mounting plugs and screw the mounting bracket securely into position. The next step is to match the terminals on the battery with the connection inside the smoke alarm, making sure it snaps into place. The alarm may sound for a second. This is normal and shows your battery is connected properly. Next, simply twist and click the smoke alarm onto the mounting bracket and your installation is complete. It's extremely important to make sure your smoke alarm is in full working order as you and your family will rely on it in the event of a fire. Periodically clear your smoke alarm of any dust using the nozzle attachment on your vacuum cleaner. Once a month, take a moment to press the test button to make sure the alarm works. The sound is very loud and it's recommended that you wear ear protection when doing this. At least once a year, change the battery in your smoke alarm. A good time to do this is at the end of daylight savings or some other annual event such as Easter. Statistics from Fire and Rescue New South Wales show that in 2005, 37 people were killed in home fires. There was no smoke alarm in 71% of the homes where these fatal fires occurred. And there are questions over whether the alarm was working in many others. Don't delay in installing a smoke alarm. The life you save could be your own.